Hello there, Eruner here, and now we are going to talk about Nosos and the units in the roster. Nosos is led by Idomeneus, uh, a very offensive hero with strong attack, damage, and abilities that boost even boost his attack even more, so he is able to win duels quickly even without dueling ability. Nosos infantry consists of the young spears, standard solid uh, chargers that are perfect in the early game. Uh, Nosos brings Cretan riders as an alternative to young spears. This unit is uh, not so good charger or face-to-face -face duelist, but thanks to Flanking attack improved and strong weapon, it is able to be much better flanker or flank charger than young spears. You can consider young spears as your front line with nice bonuses against other weapons, but otherwise you are going to use much faster and deadlier uh, flankers. Next we have the Cretan Militia, it is quite squishy and weak unit, uh, it's very fast, having some good ok shield for the, the early game, uh, pretty good weapon, so it's like something between Militia and between uh, YOLO frontline unit. So you need to be very careful how to use it. And, and the, the last two early game units are the Spearman units. Uh, let's have a comparison. The standard Spearman is not very good unit. And the Cretan Spearman is same but slightly weaker. So why is it so? Is it because of much better shield? So this unit, Cretan Spear then is much better at eating arrows and it's almost same as Spearman in other forms. In the combat you are going to use other units but for eating arrows you want to use very strong above average shield. Then we go to the Mid game, mid game is uh, having very solid island club warriors. They are, they have pretty strong weapon, and you have to use unspotable ability. They can duel units, at especially the cheaper ones. We have standard flanker as a light swordsman, shielded quite fast. Quite okay damage, but you must use it as a flanker. If you want something to be not not only flanker but to in front line, you have much better version of the shielded axe. It has solid solid uh, shield, pretty strong combat stats, uh, quite okay weapon, and if you are able to boost it. In the campaign, you can improve the me melee attack even more. Then we have the Charger, Cretan Chargers. They have much better um, impact on the game because they are not just like Chargers and Flankers, but thanks to this ability, cause the Sphere, they are able to route enemies way faster and together with their st already solid weapon this is this unit is just to quickly finish or route any unit you are able to separate again Nasus is having light very fast speed units so you should be playing around the speed as well the mid tier front line is uh, Relatively strong, it has nice defense, flanking defense. This is very solid front, front line already, 
But what it makes it even better than other factions is this unique ability Perfect Vigor. So these and only these spears are having full stamina all the time. So if we are able to train these and uh, even more give them more buffs they will be absolutely perfect frontline in your in your campaign or even battles. And very last unit is the club warriors, very famous plankers. They have solid combat stats, weapon, javelin, speed, everything you need for a flanker. So they are very favorite. Then we go to the late game. In late game you have the upgrade of the spears. They have stronger weapon, decent stats, also very good shield, a lot of models and the best ability ever for them is infinite stamina. With this infinite stamina they are able to hold and grind and grind. And since this is the only heavy unit of the Nosos, you will want to use them against chariots. Uh, if you don't want to just wait, you go to the Cretan Noble Access. They have much better combat stats with bonuses against other units. And if you buff them, they gonna have more buffs from the Ferocity, even more attack and damage. This makes them quite good killers. And we have the Chargers, Champions of Nosos. They have insanely good weapon. Quite okay, quite okay charge bonus. What makes them better than previous one is not just flanking and causing fear, but these guys can go Berserk. And Berserk will boost them to fight even longer and more. So these can be like unbreakable units, they, they are quite dangerous, they are able to deal a lot of damage. Next we will review missile units, starting with very good, efficient Achaean Slingers, always recommended in early game. Island Skirmishers are not so good, uh, they, they are just not good enough. And then we are going to have more fun with the Nossos missiles because all Nossos uh, archers are very light, have quite good speed. Uh, this one is having pretty standard range and damage and very nice ability shoot while moving. Uh, if we go to the mid game or even to the late game, you will have access to Cretan Archers. They have insane range, pretty strong damage. They also can shoot while moving. They are fast light damage dealers. In the campaign you are starting with two of them and they are pretty pretty strong. On the late game you can upgrade them into Cretan Noble Archers. They have Obviously more damage, more range, uh, better combat stats, they are just better version of them. So in the battles, Gnosos is winning not only thanks to archers, which are phenomenal like the Paris, they have quite long lasting frontline, which is very good. and. A lot of good fast flanking units. Then we go to the chariots. It, as this is a Kian faction, it has access to standard melee chariots and also the reinforced chariots. These chariots synergize very well with the roster. You pair them with some fast chargers and you will be dealing a lot of damage. 
let me show you one quick replay. It will be showcasing the starting, starting army that you will see on the campaign. And we will go against very standard army that you can encounter a lot of times. So, we start with the spearmen. We will use them in the front. We will make a front line somewhere like this. Because enemy is passive, we will kind of have to lure them out. And we are going to use our archers with insane range to go back and shoot these guys back. So this battle will follow very traditional army composition formula. We have the front line. We have already uh, active missile units which are dealing damage to enemy missiles and then on the side we are going to flank around with our light units unfortunately this is the, the weakest unit that is available so we will have to be careful with these units since on the left flank this spearman is relatively weak and overwhelmed, we are going to support him with the hero. Our missiles are already doing a nice job against one, two, three enemy missiles. So, and if you manage to do some nice flanking, you will have you will win the frontline battle as well. Very simple formula. Frontline, you are holding missiles, you got stronger ones, so you are going to win. And then the rest was able to flank around. Fast forward, and this should be very easy victory, very lazy victory maybe. As a hero you can give a buff from time to time. And unfortunately, as you can see, one of my militia has uh, run away. I told you it is a quite weak unit. It does not have much HP. So that's why you are going to be very careful. And to finish this off, I will bring my missiles to a better spot to deal slightly more damage with their uh, arrows. Nicely shooting to the backs of enemy hero. And this is quite easy standard win with the Nossos. And that is all. See you later.